Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday, 27th March. Last few days in March. Very, very quiet Asian, Asian session. Lots of noise over the weekend. Risk off, risk off, risk off. A lot of people squawking, a lot of people shouting. Commercial real estate threads. Threads about this, threads about that. Um little befuddled right now, a little confused, not super straightforward. The charts are all saying risk on. See this S&P chart, long tail. Everyone was super bearish on Friday, closed up at the highs. Now we're a half percent higher. Bang. Crude, same chart. Haven't made a new high yet. Um, crude looks to be getting a stronger footing down here. Not sure why. Um, Few of the fundamental analysts are all telling me that this should be higher. Um, I'm no crude expert. U.S. rates are lower still. Um, we did dilly dally down at 3:30. We think this is a sell up towards a 200 day, so probably between 45 and 50. Uh, we'll we'll buy some bonds, sell a yield today. Aussie is lost lost in space uh, it does it is interesting Aussie maybe for later this week if we do go wildly risk on 6760 um, it's fairly interesting right 200 day bunch of daily highs um, fairly interesting that but nothing really to do in Aussie right now dollar again sticking around that's a that's a bullish day right it's a turn day in dollar yen here if you can believe it um, we put in that low on 29.64 the high on Friday was 93 today we've already printed 05 um, you know we drilled down to the hourlies we're dicking around here surely we're gonna take out these 50 lows um, at the open here just because there's an equal amount of people who want this lower, who think the world is ending. Um, actually, I don't know any people who think things are fine, uh, but the charts say things are fine. So you got to be super careful in these moments, right? We we got what we wanted, a lot of dollar pressure, downward pressure. Uh, it's just not super clear today gun to my head um, dollar yen is gonna gonna go higher we'll probably get up to 132.50 or so um, where do things start to get outlandish if we break these lows now so you kind of have to be patient 129.64 is, is is a big point so you just want to be patient let's look at dollar cad just because it's been annoying the fuck out of me recently Big rejection at 136.50, move all the way up to 138.09, now back to 137.26. Dollar CAD, uh, I'm just bringing this chart up because, it's, boy, it's annoying uh, recently. It's just a whole huge nothing burger, basically, doing nothing here. 136.70, 137.50, uh, just sort of sums it up the last 15 days. What else is out there? Gold. Everyone's long gold. It's a conviction trade for everyone. This this can be problematic. Um, I'm surprised gold is not higher. This morning, um, looks like this is, this wants to consolidate. I don't know. Maybe we just need some sideways action. 1950 2000 uh for a few more days until we get some more news maybe the back end of this week <laughs> by the way many of you will find it uh, amusing that i've got to be in paris on thursday and friday uh, train back on saturday uh, you want to take some bets on whether the trains are canceled or or privateer um you know runs into some trouble um on midnight in Paris Thursday night or uh, 
We're at a jazz club on Friday night, God knows. Um, anyone has any first-hand real information about Paris, uh, message me on uh, message me on Twitter. Obviously, we have some peeps over there, but I'd just like to get as much information as possible from people who are actually on the ground, if they're on the ground. Um, anyway, uh, what else is here? Euro-Swiss, again, this should be higher, but it's not. But now we're we might be risk on today, so this could be this could be interesting. Um, buying cheap ones in Euro Swiss makes sense to us. The Swiss brand has been tarnished. There's a big probe going on with Credit Suisse. Finma is getting bollocked by the media. Um, I think the Swiss franc uh, can take a little bit of a back seat as a uh, safe haven. And then if we happen to go into risk on, this should actually move this thing uh, northward. But no no horse in that race. Um, sitting tight. Let's quickly go to Euro. We talked about buying low ones on Friday because the Deutsche story didn't make any sense to us. I wouldn't say that actually paid any bills. Um you know, they pay the electricity bill in the mud hut uh, out in the back back nine. Uh, but, you know, 30 points higher, stuck in the middle of nowhere. This could go anywhere. We do favor this thing higher just because we still are just relatively bearish U.S. dollars. Um, but like gold, she looks like she wants to consolidate. Uh, so let's see. As you can see, we're a little low on like specific ideas today. I won't even bring up dollar czar or dollar max. Dollar max on its knees, 1843. Crypto's not doing a whole hell of a lot. We were 1750 all weekend at Ethereum. Now we're 1770. Meaningless. Um, looks like we're guns down at the open today uh, and we're waiting for for better setups or so for a little bit more clarity the calendar is pretty empty based on what I've read this morning let's have a better look at that Monday Bank of England Governor Bailey is speaking yeah okay that's it's a waste of time. Um, 7 p.m. even. Really nothing going on. Booba. President speaks. Nah. Bailey's on the wires a lot this week. I um, wonder what he's going to say. Let's just quickly look at Sterling just for kicks. Again, this looks like consolidation. Are we going to take out some stops below 121.80? Probably at some point this week. Um, is this an area to pick up some sterling? Yes, probably it is. Uh, do we have any conviction with any of this? No, we do not. Euro sterling, we want to sell high ones. 88, 88. Between 88, 80, and 89, we like selling that shit. It's not close in the middle of nowhere. Huh, phooey. Looks like it's going to be uh, light work this morning. Um, patience is the trade. Good luck out there, people. Go ahead, try and make some dough. You, you deserve it. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.